Okay, now in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about photos and where exactly they happen to be saved. Now, it really depends on what you mean by that, but uh, there are basically two ways or two possibilities where the photos go on your iPhone. Now, they can show up in the Photos app, which can be found on your iPhone, and you cannot even delete that if you want, so it will always be part of your iPhone, or they can be part of the Files app, or even third-party Files app. But the basic part is that when you snap a picture like this, I'm not going to make it uh, like black and white, so let me just switch it back like this to the original. And if I snap a picture like this, the photo is going to appear inside of the Photos app. So that's very useful to know. You can always just find it there. However, this is not the only place where you can save photos. Because, for example, if you go and open up the Photo app and go to this one right here, if you click on Share, you can share it, of course, using the messages or Instagram. But there is one built-in option called Saved to Files. So if I click on Save to Files, I can easily just save it somewhere to a different app. And this is just for photos. The Files app are for all kinds of files. So if I open up the Files app like this, I'm going to switch to the icons. You're going to notice that the photo can also be saved inside of this app. I saved the photo to this folder inside of the Files app. So it really depends on where the photos are located. Like by default, they appear in the photos, but they can also be stored in different places. For example, I also have a third-party documents app, which is called Just Documents, and it's an app I downloaded from the App Store. So this is what it looks like. And photos and videos can be stored on this device as well. So yeah, it's an option too. Like I can, for example, take a photo using this specific app like this. So right now, just to make it something different, I'm going to take a picture of my iMac like this. And if I just use the photo, I can save it. And this photo just goes in here. This photo is going to show up inside of my third-party documents app. But it doesn't show in the Photos app, nor in the Files app. So it is another place where the photos can be stored. But you can, of course, move them in between these apps and decide where you want to put them. For the majority of the people, the Photos app is going to be the perfect place to store them, their photos. So it's up to you to decide, but these are the options which you have. But before we wrap up the video, I need to show you this. This is the Foxtech educational platform, which contains video editing courses, in-depth iPhone guides, and other things are going to be added in the future. So if you want to learn more about your iPhones, Go ahead and check it out. It's going to be linked down below in the description. See you guys later and see you also inside of the group. So thanks a lot for watching. See you guys in the future.